Hey everybody, Carrie, AKA American Arbitrage, and I wanna share with you an epic haul that I just got. I got one word for you: Funko Pops. That's two, don't judge. All right, here we go. Here are the Funko Pops that I got. I got one box, two box, three box, four box, 96 Funko Pops total, and I paid Wait for this, $180. So I paid a little under $2 a piece. You really can't go wrong when you're paying under $2 a piece for Funko Pops. A lot of these are exclusives. I do have a few doubles, but a lot of them are just singular ones all by themselves. Now let's look at them and see how well I'm gonna do on this $180 purchase. This is what 96 Funko Pops look like. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you're buying Funko Pops is some of them have the stickers here on the front. These stickers mean they were exclusive to a certain store, a certain online service, a certain event. As you can see, this is an FYE store exclusive. You're also gonna find a lot for online services such as Loot Crate. Side note here, I used to buy Loot Crates all the time and get the toys out, get the shirts out, get the pops out, get the figures out and resell them. There was a time, I don't think it still exists, uh, as a market, and I don't even know if Loot Crate is still doing stuff that much. It's been really, really odd the last couple months, but there was a time when you'd get a Godzilla Loot Crate exclusive and you would make a lot of money, but not so much anymore. But these Loot Crate exclusive ones, although not super rare, can be worth a few more dollars and sometimes, honestly, be worth a few less. There's another one you're gonna see a lot. It's the fall convention exclusives or the spring convention, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. A lot of these, like the fall convention ones, they were actually delivered to Barnes and Noble and other stores, so they weren't quite as rare as you would think. You didn't have to be at the convention to get these figures. That being said, a lot of the convention exclusive ones, especially the ones you could only get at the conventions, especially the early ones from years ago, are worth so much money. So if you see anything that says any kind of sticker like that on it, that has anything interesting, it's definitely worth looking up. But this is one of my keys to buying Funko Pops. Listen up. That key is simply this. Do you see how many Funko Pops I got here? I got 96. I spent $180 and the key, in my opinion, to buying Funko, unless you're super knowledgeable on each specific one and wanna look everyone up, is get them in bulk and lower your cost per unit. These Funko Pops, on average, I may get one that's worth a little bit more money, on average should be about three to $5 plus shipping. Now, what I wanna do is lot up some of those ones that are lower end by genre. Now, you're gonna see in this lot is I have some doubles and I also have have several that are from the same series. So for example, here you see a couple Assassin Creed Funko Pops. I'm probably gonna wanna lot those up to lower my shipping cost. One of these Funko Pops is gonna weigh roughly five ounces, four and a half, five ounces. Let's add the second one on there. And it's still gonna be about nine ounces. So based on that, it looks like you can lot them up to about three Funko Pops and still be under that magical 16 ounces. This gives your customers a better deal and gives you a better chance to be competitive in the marketplace and sell a little bit more a little quicker. So is a deal like this still worth it? I'd say yes. And before we go on, look at that. <laughs> I'd say yes, it's definitely worth it. But to be fair, this market is getting more and more competitive and you have to be very, very, very cautious. Really, like I said, $2 and below is what you gotta do. Now here comes the magic question. How much money should I make on these 96 Funko Pops? I should be able to make at least $400 plus shipping on this lot. I'm hoping I find a couple rare ones in there, a couple vaulted ones. And with that, I can make 40, 50, $60 a Funko Pop, but I'm anticipating most of these are in the three to $6 range and with lotting them up and asking about the middle of the market. So not the lowest end and not the highest end. Um, I should within a couple months, you know, double my money and a little bit at the least or possibly make even more. For people who enjoy selling collectibles and toys on eBay, Funko Pops honestly are bread and butter items. You're occasionally gonna get a home run, but usually they're just something you can put in your store that will sell, sell fairly quickly, and is very popular. So if you guys are looking for some Funko Pops, just remember, keep it $2 and under, unless you wanna do some individual research and make some money, guys. It's a lot of fun. Now, if you guys like this, would you please like and subscribe down below? It would mean the world to me. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.